Welcome to Chewing the Cud. We are here with another weekly roundup of showbiz news, chuckles from the internet, and of course, our life lesson. But now we split it, lick it, and dunk it as we say hello to Lee. Hello! <laughs> do you like my tiny hands? They're very small. Why do you have tiny hands? I've been on a diet this week. Okay. And these are the only things I've lost any weight. <laughs> <laughs> and girth. Yeah, and I'm quite disappointed. But it also means that I can only get tiny things into my mouth like oh, that. Well. <laughs> so yeah, story there. yeah. So I'm back with some exciting showbiz news, including a story about Buzz Lightyear. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and I've got some light-hearted giggles from the internet, including a story about a one-day-only burger. If you want to keep right up close and personal to us, why not give us a follow? We are at The Could TV on all your social media sites. Don't forget our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to all of this as a podcast, just search for Chewing The Could. And if you have commented, shared, or clicked like on one of our social media platforms, then your name could be sliding across the screen. <laughs> now, Mike, have you got a noisemaker? A noisemaker? A noisemaker. Well, there was this one time in band camp. Uh, not this story again. Let's just play... Game of the Week. The producer can't be with us today, as he's having a drive through COVID test. He said it's not the first time he's lowered his window in a car park and had a stranger stick something down his throat to make his eyes water. We're sure he'll be fine, as his gag reflex went years ago. This week, we see the welcome, the welcome, well, the return of the Gobby Game Show. <music> Television studios are always a clutter of old sets, costumes and props. So Lee, off you pop, take a torch. Who knows how far back in the archive you'll need to search. And while he goes to find some sets, I said sets, I'll explain the rules. All he has to do is improvise a scene that may have taken place in the set he's found. And I have to guess it. Simples. But this being chewing the cud, there's a catch. Are you ready, Lee? I'm in. I'm ready to find the cud. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get out of my house. Right, okay. Get out of my house, you say. Right, okay. No idea what you just said. <sighs> <laughs> in a hall. A hall? In a hall. Yeah. And you have a drink. Oh, I have a gin and tonic, please, darling. I have a gin and tonic. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well, where do you go for a gin and tonic? Where do I go for Open the, the door, walk inside. Walk inside the Hello, house. Hello, darling. You're in my house. You're in my no. kitchen. No. Uh, uh, yeah, in a TV set. Oh, it's a TV set. Yeah, TV. Right, yeah. In a square. In a square. Oh, lying, Gaffner. Oh, what the hell's Oh, EastEnders. Thing? Yeah, where in EastEnders? Where in EastEnders would I get a gin and tonic? Yeah, go Angie's out. Den. Yeah. Angie's Den. No, you... <laughs> <laughs> I heard that word. Yeah. yeah, that's not there anymore. The famous one. Queen Vic. Oh, the Queen Vic? Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're not supposed to actually say what it is, though. She oh, was told me what Queen Vic is. Yeah. yeah. I'm claiming the point. I'm claiming the point. Uh, Let's get the next one. Oh. Uh, okay. Very important. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Hello, hello, let's see what's going on today in the world. Today, there's the not good things happen, and sometimes, sometimes there's good things. In a TV studio, right. serious, serious, serious face. Serious face. Serious face. Serious face. <laughs> serious face three times a day. Yeah, three times a day. I can't think of anything I do three times a day. No, on the telly. You watch it on the telly. I watch it on the telly. Three Sometimes. Times a day. Ooh, I can't. Ooh, press it, turn it on. There it is on the television. Morning! Porn? No! The no it's about uh -huh. what's happened in the world. It's about what's happened in the world? Yeah. Television program. T 
television program about what's in the world. Yes. It's on three times a day. Yeah. Morning, lunchtime, evening. Okay. Would I watch it? Yeah, I do. Are you, do. Are you telling the hatch? Possibly. I don't know. While I'm watching? Pulling the hatch. I have no idea what you just said there. <laughs> Say that again. Pulling? Pulling? Pulling. The hatch. Oh, right. Okay, now I got it. Yeah. Possibly. Okay. Not 100% sure. All oh, right, okay. There's in, there's in scary things happening. Scary things happen. <laughs> oh, is it the news? Yes! Yes! Oh! Uh, there we go. <laughs> should, we, should we have a go at a different one, then? Television program. Uh-huh. From a long, long, long time ago. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jack and Ori. No, no, no. Blue Peter. No, not a children's program. It, in a department store. The big department store. The department store. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, my pussy is wet. Your, your pussy is wet? Yes. It's, I think, yeah. Oh, I've got to get out and my pussy is gaping. Your pussy is gaping? <laughs> no. <laughs> Doesn't say that. Your pussy is what, sorry? <laughs> like, pussy jokes. Okay. Mrs. Slocum? Mrs. Slocum? Mrs. Slocum? Um. Uh, the cat, the one that goes, oh, hello, hey, yeah, okay, and um, um, another one, the other ones in it, <laughs> the other ones, yeah, you like, you like clothes, I like clothes, yeah, tell me, is the brands, yes, so any standards, yes, yeah, no idea what it is, yes, you do, <laughs> you're, just, you're just doing another purpose. <laughs> Here I am. It's, are you being served? Yes! Are you being served? It is. It is, yes. <laughs> Let's get another one then. You really like this. Right. Okay. okay. In space. Do, 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 do. I don't know that that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got to get it from two bars of us. <laughs> <laughs> there is. The one with the pointy ears. Oh, with the pointy ears. Yeah. There's the one... Um, like the Witch in the Wardrobe? No. It's race. In space. In space. The Heinel Frontier. The what? Heinel Frontier. The Heinel Frontier. The Heinemann Frontier? No. The Final Frontier. The Final Frontier? Yeah. Is it in... Star Trek? Yes! Yes! It is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's move on quickly. Yeah. 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 Um, you also like this one. I, like oh, I think you pull the hatch to this one, definitely. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I did get that word again. What? You definitely pull the hatch to this. I, no, I yeah. don't. Do they what? Pull the hatch. That's the issue. What the what? Check the chicken. That kind of stuff. Yeah. I eat some chicken. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. So, on the outside, uh -huh. oh. Okay. On the inside, really big. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's small on the outside, big on the inside. Uh -huh. Um goes like that. Yeah? Yeah? Uh, yeah. And then goes to different places. And there's um robots. <laughs> robots that cry are sad. And then there's crying robots. Yeah? Okay. And then there's uh extarite. Extarite. Okay. Yeah, it's Doctor Who. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. An old one. Let's get 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 another one up then. Uh, I like this one. You like this I pull the hatch to this one. You pull your uh, to this one. Right. Yeah. Um, so, Gardner's World. <laughs> All right. Uh, in New York, New York City. In New York City. In New York City. <laughs> yeah. uh, one, two, three, four. Five. Five people. Five people. Yeah. Um, Both are like indignity and fair and where we lay off. Yeah, coffee all the time. I like coffee. Yeah, I like coffee. And um, uh, they, 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 they sleep with each other. They sleep with each other. Yeah. Sex in the city. No. 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 Only there for you. That, that, that's the theme tune. What was the theme tune? Only there for you. Do, 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 do. Chandra. Nanika. Oh. Okay. Ross. Uh-huh. Rachel. Uh-huh. Hayley. Oh, friends. Yeah! Yes.
Right, let's get one more up. There's a holiday, cartoon, cartoons, okay. yellow, yellow faces. Uh, don't have a cow, man. What, what color Don't have a cow, man. What color faces do they yellow, have? Yellow, yellow faces. Yellow faces. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, little boy, little girl, Riley. A nun. A Range Rover? A lady, a lady, a lady. A little lady. A, a lady. A lady. 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 Oh, baby. Yeah, a nunny and a daddy. Right, okay. Yeah, in one house. In a house. A cat, a cat and a dog. And a dog. Da, 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 da. Oh, is it the Simpsons? Yes! Oh, there we go. Oh, God. How many points has he got? Seven points. Got seven points, yeah. And still to come. Ooh, we have another one of our epic life lessons. Just after the break, it's Lee with the Showbiz News. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we talk to the man who not only owns, but willingly wears Crocs. It's Lee with the Showbiz News. I don't willingly wear them. I've seen you wear Crocs willingly. You bought me a pair for Christmas. Father Christmas got you a pair for Father Christmas. Father Christmas bought me a pair for Christmas. And, and you put them on as soon as we finish recording the episode. I, I don't. They're not. They're not particularly good to wear outside in the snowy weather. Okay. Slippy. Slippy. Yeah. As my hip will testify to. Okay. Yeah. So a bit of showbiz news. Mm. Are you a Toy Story fan? The franchise of Toy Story. I, I do enjoy a Toy Story. How would you feel about a live action version? A live action version of a cartoon. Yeah. Mm. Not sure. No. What if that live action version starred Chris Evans? Oh, future ex husband Chris Evans. Mm. Or Ginger was married to Billy Piper. Chris no, Evans. the first one. Future ex husband. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'd, I'd be up for that. You'd be up for that. Is he, well, is he topless? Well, he is in that picture. Yes, that, that <laughs> I'm quite happy with. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but he's not going to be looking like that in this film. Oh. So, apparently, in the year 2022, it's the future. Ooh. Ooh. Um, he is going to be voicing. Mm. Buzz Lightyear okay. in a prequel to Toy Story. A prequel to Toy Story. Yeah, so this is what Buzz Lightyear, we think, you know, it, where do we think he looks like? That's, that's, that's actually, actually, actually what Buzz, actually Buzz Lightyear looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so um, the story is not, it's kind of like the story of Buzz Lightyear. Okay. In it's a bit weird, isn't it? Because it's like, because he's a toy, mm. but not really, they don't reference him as a toy. Because it's a real thing. Because it's a real thing. So they're kind of and doing the story. Him, yeah. yeah. So they're doing the story of Buzz Lightyear okay. in, in anime. Now, this isn't how he will look. This oh. is what some internet perv <laughs> has, <laughs> has hoped that he will look well, like. When you say internet perv, I notice he's, he's not got a lower. He had, well, there was, I didn't see the lower. There was only the first bit. There was only the top okay. bit. The first bit of, of To him. infinity and beyond. Yeah. Yeah, so he, he has posted on Twitter, just to be clear, this isn't Buzz Lightyear the toy, this is the origin story okay. of the human Buzz Lightyear that the toy is based on. So this is the actual kind of Buzz Lightyear mm -hmm. from the film. So it's not live action as in Chris Hemsworth is dressed as Buzz Lightyear. Or Chris Evans. Chris Evans or Hemsworth. Chris Evans. They're all, they all merge the I, same. I, I, call, I go by the people by the first name, so Chris okay. Evans, Chris Hemsworth. Right, okay. Don't yeah. shout the wrong um, name. So, yeah, I, I'm i not sure. I'm not sure about this. I'm not, I'm not, I'd, I'd, have, I'd have a watch. You'd have a watch? I'd have a watch. Lotion ready, just in case. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that is coming at some point in 2022. Okay. It's a very, very long time off. Oh, not that long off. It's like a couple of months. A yeah, couple of months, yeah. So, yeah. Well, we had last year that was nothing but March, so... Yeah. I would rather have a... I don't know. Aneurysm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of all the different Toy Story characters. Sorry, just bear with me one moment. Sorry. <laughs> Can someone pop up and put 50p in Lee, please? For now. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I would like a horror film... 
featuring the kid from the first story that yeah. maimed all the toys and, and made them mm -hmm. um, into creatures and things. That's yeah. what I would like. Yeah. So a bit more. So next bit of showbiz news, drag, drag race kind of news. Okay. But friend of the show, Davina DeCampo. Yes, much love to Davina DeCampo. Love, and one third of girl band The Frock Destroyers, mm -hmm. who released their debut album last year. They did indeed. They did. Yes. Um, she has kind of said that she thinks she's upset Jerry Halliwell. Oh. Nee Horner. Um, so on Drag Race, the first series of Drag Race mm -hmm. UK, Jerry Halliwell was one of the judges on one of the episodes yeah. where, um, to be fair, she was a bit bizarre, wasn't she? If you cast your mind back. Always a bit bizarre. Yeah, and they, they had, they didn't have a, so this is a picture of, here we've got Jerry Halliwell actually on the show. Mm -hmm. That was the look, I think, that Dufina had for that episode. Mm -hmm. um, so... They had this kind of like thing, didn't they, where they kind of did snatch race and snatch game, snatch race, snatch game, drag race, snatch race, <laughs> snatch game. I don't a know. A snatch race is something very, it's very, very different. different. Yeah. Well, they had that little bit of a quit where she was like feeding back what he did in snatch game. Mm -hmm. She did in snatch game, and she said, "Oh, you should have been posh spice," and it was like. Mm. Yeah, she kind of did that. She did that. I was like, oh, I was truly like to join your reunion, Jerry, but I can't. <laughs> I'm a brand now. <laughs> and Jerry kind of went. Mm. Anyway, so apparently on Twitter, somebody has 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 messaged Davina to say you've really upset Jerry Halliwell, not from that last year, right. but from new stuff. Right. Okay. And Davina just can't work out why and what she has said that might potentially upset. Jerry Halliwell. But this this person that said you've upset Jerry, do they actually know Jerry or are they just like some <laughs> random person on Twitter going, you've upset our Jerry? I don't know. I don't know if it's a friend of, of Miss Horner, but uh, th th this does make me laugh because she said, it, Davina's like said, the only thing I've ever said about Jerry is that she's very nice mm -hmm. and that's how you would describe her now. Ginger Spice is long gone mm -hmm. and now Jerry Halliwell is fully embodying motherhood. So she's like, She's left the bum pinching, the swinging, crawling out of set between legs. Um, and now she's grown up and become a mother. So she's very nice, mm -hmm. and she is, but she's like a Disney princess, lovely, but a bit dull. Okay. I think we might have found the reason why she doesn't like you. <laughs> um, I kind of agree with that. Ginger Spice, we need Ginger Spice back. We don't need bread baking, Jerry. Um, no. But Davina was asked if... The Frock Destroyers would be up for, for representing the UK in Eurovision. Mm -hmm. And her answer is yes, she would do that. Yeah, definitely. Could we do you think, could we see this? I could definitely see that. Do we even think we're going to have Eurovision this year? We Again, might do. Virtually. So that, that would be quite good. I would like to see three drag queens singing for Eurovision, mm -hmm. the UK. We still wouldn't win, but, you know. Are we even allowed in Eurovision this year? Same. Oh, controversial. <gasps> Time will tell. Last bit of showbiz news. Um, you're a Doctor Who fan, aren't you? I am a Whovian, yes. A Whovian. That's what they're called. Okay. So Jodie Whittaker, mm -hmm. the current Doctor Who, yep. she's announced that she's stepping down from the role. Mm -hmm. So we've got a picture of her here. Um, that's the TARDIS, is it, behind her? In the background, yeah. yes, that's yeah. the TARDIS. How long has she been doing it? Has it been about two years? So it's two seasons she's done now. Okay. So um, a third season would be her... right, because they tend to do right. three seasons. Okay. Um, so she's kind of like said that she's, she's going to step down for the row. So John Barrowman, mm -hmm. who in Doctor Who plays um, Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Harkness. <laughs> Harkness. Did yep. he not play Bo? Oh, there he is. There he is. See, I get confused with him. And, Slash and the, and the, the face of Bo. Oh, that's a stretched out thing, isn't it? That's no. a stretched out thing. Yeah, it is, yeah. Is that the stretch? What was the stretched out thing that went moisturise me? Oh, no, 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 that was something. That was Lady Cassandra. Oh, okay. Yeah. Face of both, that massive face yeah, in the, the face jar. Tech. Yeah. Right, okay. He has said, because he played the first open LGBTQI character in Doctor Who. Indeed. indeed. Um, he's saying that potentially Doctor Who could be gay. Oh. He could be bisexual. He could be fluid. Mm -hmm. Whatever, and it doesn't matter. The Doctor is an alien that can try anything and everything, and that's where the audience is right now. Yeah. Well. Mm. Would you? What would? Who would you like to see as the next Doctor Who? Me. You. I think I don't make a brilliant Doctor Who. Would you? Yeah. Where have we gone now? Oh, this is the land of the dildos. 
W would you follow the doctor into his? Would you follow a gay doctor into his box? No. No, you wouldn't. No, I've always was always told as a child, you never follow strangers into boxes. I was told never get to the back of strangers' vans. <laughs> never, say, never, never follow a man into a box. <laughs> never follow a man into a police box. You don't know where it will take you. Oh. You see, you would be a very... <laughs> that's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> you would be a very um, fey Doctor Who. Very kind of camp Doctor Who, I think. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, where are we going now? Um, <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> Sorry. Exterminate, exterminate. Yeah. Oh, BA. Oh, just stop be it. Nice. Oh, you're making me sad. Um, so. <laughs> Don't make me sonic you. It doesn't do wood. I can't be doing with this interior. Where are the scatter cushions? Take me to the nearest Ikea. Um, <laughs> that is a really niche episode. The BBC are watching. Get in touch because we'll flesh it out for you. We'll, we'll make it. <laughs> we'll, we'll flesh out what? <laughs> Sorry. It's <laughs> we'll, a very dark yeah, version we'll, of We'll <laughs> flesh light it out. Um, so, yeah, there's no, there's no news yet. They'll do that usual. They probably already know who it's going to be. They're yeah, just not no, going to tell. They've already fingered someone for it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That means chosen someone. Chosen. Not somebody. as in. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. And that is the end of this week's showbiz news. Well, thank you, Lee. Always nice to hear about another older person getting a new lease of life, other than you. Coming soon, we have the next of our life lessons. But lock up your sons, husbands, and brothers. As next, it's Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the man who's got the flavour, the bad behaviour, the rhythm, the melody, the juice for you to savour. It's Mike in the buzz. <laughs> I've got the what? The ri Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> you You've got it. the flavour, the bad behaviour, the rhythm, the melody, the juice for you to savour. Where's that from? It's a very niche Spice Girls song. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. I'm going to move on very quickly. Um, <laughs> Ofcom. Yeah. You know who Ofcom are? We, that, they're the people that if you do Rudy stuff, they tell you off on telly. Yeah, it's, it's the people that stop me looking at the camera and saying, quit. <laughs> Well, they've widened the definition of hate speech okay. at the beginning of the year that now includes intolerance of transgender issues mm -hmm. and any other political opinions. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, so anyone now being sort of like very, very transphobic, um, it goes into the same as hate speech. So that is like the career ending of people like Jim Davidson. Does he have a career still? I don't think he's been on telly for a long, long time. Not since the big break. He did a couple of, of reality shows, didn't he? But not even that could... Oh, yeah. Could. It was on stuff, wasn't yeah. it? I was a celebrity to get me a career. Yes. Yeah. Did that sort of stuff. Mm. But yeah, but yeah, we'll find, Ofcom will come out with something good, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. So now something a little bit more light-hearted. Yay. Okay. You drive, don't you, Lee? I do, after a fashion. Like Slowly. <laughs> Beep, beep. The gear. That's enough. Yeah. Why is your gear stick up here? <laughs> You've got your steering wheel horn. Because I've got a tiny car. You've got a tiny car? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> With my tiny hands. Have you ever been on a toll road? Um, in America. In America? Yeah, I'm, I'm an international traveller. Mm. <laughs> the thing was you were aiming for Bournemouth. <laughs> <laughs> How did you pay for your toll? With sexy times. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very cheap toll. <laughs> Love it through the window. Um, uh, coins? Coins, okay. Have you, have you been on a cashless toll road? No. No. Because they're, they're funny, you can only use like contactless payment or you have to um, pay after you've okay. been over it. Yes. Well, I, I'm, an argument has broken out in Hull. After someone's tried to pay the toll, cash. Yes. Right, because it's a private road. They're saying, right. we don't accept cash. Right, a bit of a kerfuffle okay. came out um, on the Humber Bridge. And then it turned around and went, well, mate, if we said it was two turnips to cross the bridge, it'd be two turnips. That's funny. Is it, is it, is it like... Is two it, turnips. 
to cross the bridge. Like literal, like actual turn. Actual turn. Right. Okay. I thought I was right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I thought it was going way more in depth than that. I thought it was like a that was like a like a weird turn of phrase or something, and that I wasn't getting. <laughs> like going. You think right. it was a euphemism? Yeah, quite possibly. Pop your turnips in, and we'll pop your turnips in. We turn it in the slot, and we'll uh, yeah. Okay. So did he did he come back with some turnips? No, he didn't. He just uh, he started writing letters to his MP oh. um, and saying how it was appalling, and the bridge company went, "It's our bridge. You want to cross well, why, it? Why? Why? Why do we have private bridges and roads and things? Well, toll bridges are always private bridges and things. Okay. Did you not know that? I don't, I don't know why we have them because everything's supposed to be accessible, isn't it? So, you, so your your road tax, yeah, your road fund license, yes, um, <laughs> yeah. That pays for the upkeep of roads and things. Yes. Yeah, and the council pays for that. Okay. But toll roads, you pay to go on that road, and that pays for the upkeep of that road. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so not been on the M6 toll? No. It's much quicker. No. 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 Shall I move on? Cause you yeah, don't I don't know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had your tablets? <laughs> no, the injection. The nurse was late with the injection this morning, so I had to come straight here. Oh, dear. Yeah. Just, yeah, just a little prick. <laughs> Okay, so this this one you'll you'll probably find a little bit more interesting. Okay, hopefully. Okay. Um, and this is news that in Eastern Australia has been covered under huge amounts of snake infested sea foam. Uh, see that that is see Australia. That's just you just don't want to go there, do you? Why not? It's sunny. It's There's just lots of surfers with the, with the bodies out. No, it's just full of poisonous, venomous creatures that are waiting to kill you at any opportunity. <laughs> like a koala bear. Yeah, li- yeah. Well, they're horrible when they <laughs> when they get when they get aroused. They're quite aggressive. Have you had a, a moment with an aggressive don't aroused talk about koala bear? It. Don't want to talk about it. They're quite greasy too, aren't they? Yeah, they smell of wee. Yeah. We've spoken about this before. Yeah, we did. Uh, we have, but they but they are they do get very aggressive when they get randy randy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but. Uh, Anyway, back to the fee, sea foam. <laughs> sea foam full of poisonous snakes. Not poisonous snakes, just sea inf- snake, snake infested. infested. It doesn't say poisonous. People were told to stay out of the sea in New South Wales and Queensland. Okay. Right? Because there were lots of snakes in the sea foam just hiding, just swimming about in the foam, having a foam party for snakes. See, nothing good could come out of that. Nothing good. You see, I, I've been accosted by something snaky in a, in a, in a foam party. Yeah, I can well believe. Mm. Okay. Didn't end well. Species of one-eyed snake. No, it was two-eyed. Oh. It was an actual snake. Oh, an actual snake. Yeah, yeah an actual snake. Okay. You were thinking of penis then, weren't you? Oh yeah, I was. Yeah. That's the automatic thing that I do think of when you mention one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's talking. It must be a penis. It must be a penis joke. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not always. Sometimes it's a joke about bums. Yeah. Sometimes. So did what happened to the foam? Did it just dissipate? It, it just dissipates after a little while. And then what happened to all the snakes? The snakes just went on. Oh, oh it's gone now. Go out in. the foam party. Going <laughs> home now. Snakes. So bye. Just get some water. Yeah. Well, gotta go with the hangover. Oh, okay. Yeah. The snaky foam party is always snaky foam party. And if something makes you think, oh, how saucy, why not share it with us? Just give us a quick tag or mention using the Could TV on your social media platforms. Our inbox is waiting for you to stuff it so full that it pops its elasticated waist and has to start wearing a moo moo. Moo. <laughs> and that brings us to the story of the week. Now, this is a story about a one-day fad that happened. Oh. So, McDonald's released a burger for one day only. Into the wild. No, not into the... For sale. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> so anyway, run, be free, my little burger. Like tur- little turtles on a beach. But wouldn't move because it's a burger. Yeah. <laughs> and I went, run, <laughs> got it. People just throwing food at <laughs> McDonald's door at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, this is a... A completely new burger that they've come up with. <gasps> Groundbreaking. Would you like to hear what it is? Please. It is the the now famous Spam and Oreo burger. Uh. Does that sound like a, a good thing for you? No, that sounds rank. Why do you think it sounds rank? Spam, yeah. okay, is all the dirty bits of meat that mm-hmm. they just cram into a tin, uh-huh. allegedly. Um, in, your, in your opinion. In my opinion. Yeah. Um, and it just doesn't sound nice. And then putting, uh, did they, what did they squash an Oreo cookie on it? Oh no, no. What you do is you get a lovely. That's for you. 
you get a bread bun thing that you put, um, you get a McDonald's. A bap. Bap. A bap. The thing you'd normally get a McDonald's in. And then get some lovely fried Spam. Why is it? Why and is the like black ooze coming off it? That's the Oreo. That's Oreo smashed up to pieces and mm. mixed with mayonnaise. Take a bite. I've not tried this. I have no idea what this tastes like. But you see, you think... <laughs> it smells quite pleasant. It doesn't smell horrendous. It smells... It smells like gooch. <laughs> That's why I'm probably liking the smell of it then, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to eat a bit. Ready? Just take a nibble. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. <laughs> it's smooth and grainy at the same time. No. It tastes it tastes meaty and sweet. Yeah. And it's not Did it sell out? They only did it for a day. And I think I found the reason why. Oh I mean, I am filthy. I will pr practically eat anything, mm. but that, no, I can't do sweet and savoury mixed together. I'm okay with sweet and savoury, like pineapple and pizza. No. That's just... No. 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 That's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that, no. I mean, it's very much like a, uh, Mrs. Cropley from the Vicar of Dibley, when oh, she did um, sardines in cake. Oh. You remember that, when she came up with all Vaguely, the things, yeah. yeah. So I take it this is never coming back. It was a one-day trial. Oh. Um, no, I'm finding bits in my teeth now. No. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Mmm, um, If you want to try that at home, Don't. send us pictures and, and video yourselves doing it and why. You're crazy. Um, and that's the end of the buzz this week. Stay tuned, as after this comes one of our life lessons. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we slow down and have a good long look at the car crash that is this week's. Life Lessons. This week, Mike, mm -hmm. we are literally going back in time. Oh, we've got a TARDIS. Mm, bajillions of years. Bajillions of years. Bajillions of years to the... Jurassic Park times. <laughs> so the Jurassic area. Yeah. Area? Area. Yeah. yeah. Are you are you a Jurassic Park franchise fan? A little bit, yes. Are you, do you, do you I have... can sing the theme tune. Go on. No 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 na 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 Nice. So um, <laughs> mm. um there's many films in the franchise. So we're going for the latest one. Okay. So in the film, mm -hmm. they've left the dinosaurs to get on with it, as All they right. do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, um, no one wants to watch them at it. No, they've got on with it, uh -huh. but the volcano is going to erupt, and they're all, they're all, they're all going to die. <laughs> so, <laughs> the dinosaur's going to die. So they go back to get some of them, uh -huh. um, but then it explodes, and then there's that, there's that scene that makes me cry, when they get on the boat and there's a there's a diplodocus or something mm -hmm. on the on the um, jetty, yeah, okay. going the quayside, yeah, and then it gets flamed to it's death. Cooked. Yeah. So why, why does that make you cry? Because you know, it's, it's really not, sad. It's not real. No, I know, Mike. But it's, it's computer sad. generated dinosaurs. Yeah, but it's sad. Okay. So, we're going to recreate that. So you... What, we're going to kill a Diplodocus? No, we, we, who knows what will happen. Okay. We're going to... We, we have these teeny tiny pocket-sized volcanoes. It's not a euphemism. I, I've got a pocket rocket. <laughs> faulty one. Um, oh, it's not faulty. So, <laughs> goes off all the time. Mm. Um, <laughs> so, we are going to attempt to recreate... Um, 
a volcanic eruption. Okay. So, I have provided you with a silver tray mm -hmm. and um, things to create a prehistoric diorama. Okay. Not a diarrhea, a diorama. A dinosaur diorama. Dinosaur diorama. So, okay. you should have a little pot filled with um, prehistoric rocks. Okay. Did you yeah. pick these yourself? I did, from, from my very prehistoric garden. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, so, pour those onto your tray. They're wet. Yeah, because they've been in the garden. That is a leaf in mine. They had snow on them about 10 minutes ago. Really? Yeah, prehistoric snow. Okay. Um, so, yeah. You've got some twiggy, twiggy foliagey type stuff so that you can create ambiance of... Um, okay, yeah. ambiance done. And you've also got many plastic dinosaurs. Okay. I've got a... Um, Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Uh -huh. I've got a Spinosaurus. A Spinosaurus, yeah. yeah. Okay. I've got a pterodactyl. A what? Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl, yeah. Is it pterodactyl? Pterodactyl, yeah. It's not, is it though? You don't say the P. But it's there, so you have to say it. Pterodactyl. Why would you. Why would, pterodactyl. Why would you not say it? I don't know. Perhaps we should ask the dinosaurs. Add a lisp. Is it because it's a silent P? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> um, so, yeah, re arrange your um, dinosaurage however okay. you would like to. The, the, the volcano is going to go in the middle of the scene. So, you know, Plunkham, that is a Stegosaurus. So the thing that annoys me about Jurassic Park is that dinosaurs went around in the Jurassic period. What? Jurassic, Jurassic dinosaurs went around in, in the Jurassic, in the Cretaceous. Why is it called Jurassic Park then? Because it, the Cretaceous Park doesn't sound like a fun place to be, does it? No. No. Okay. To be fair, it's you know it's not really scientifically accurate anyway. The whole is it not? thing, premise of bringing back dinosaurs and stuff from, from DNA. Like that. Where do you stand on feathered dinosaurs, Lee? Where do I stand on a feathered dinosaur? Yeah. On its neck, so it can't do anything. <laughs> As in, no. oh, where do I, what do I believe about a uh -huh. feathered dinosaur? Yeah. Well, when I was around at that time, mm. they all they all pretty much had like scales and stuff. I never came scales? across them. Um, <laughs> like never, <laughs> never came across a feathered dinosaur. So not not skin like lizards. Yeah, lizardy skin. Lizardy skin. Yeah, they don't have scales. Is it not the same thing? No. No. Okay. okay. Um, if they had feathers, that's super. Okay. Some people say they had fur. Some say they had sequins. Well, Monmouth was there was the gay dinosaurs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the sequin dinosaur. Yeah. What do you call a, what do you call a blind dinosaur? No, I saw us. No, do you think he saw us? Oh, do you think he saw us? Yeah. Right. Okay. What, what do you call a dinosaur with no arms, no legs, and no eyes? A snake. Names. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Names. Okay. So um, we have created our scene. Uh huh. So. Take your um, volcanic Apparatus. eruption and you take the bottom bit out of it mm -hmm. and you have, in a tissue, I believe, mm -hmm. you have some uh, bicarbonate of soda. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought it was something very different. No. Bicarb. Bicarb. Bicarb, as the, Bicarb. As the people say. So take your little spoon uh -huh. and spoon some bicarb into the reservoir of the... Thing. How much do I need to put in? I'm filling it up to the top. Filling it up to the top. Okay. Yeah. And then put your little dinosaur, put your little thing back into your. Ooh. I've inserted and twisted. Mine won't. Oh, there. There we go. Right. So then the instructions say that you pour mm -hmm. vinegar into the top of the. Into the little opening. Yeah, and then it should froth and stuff and okay. become a volcano. I'm I'm slightly disappointed by this because I assumed it would be like red and orange because that's what lava. Well, well, maybe it will be because the the this is brown. Yeah. Brown. What's magma? That that's old semen. 
Does that not come out of volcanoes? No. That's magma. Oh! <laughs> it's magma is cheese penis. Cheese penis? Cheese penis. <laughs> right. So they, they didn't, the dinosaurs didn't get killed by smegma. <laughs> no. Okay. Shall we... Um, sh Educational, this show, isn't it? <laughs> do you, shall I do my volcano first? I'll let you go first. Okay, yeah. so... With your smegma. With my smegma. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a little bit of vinegar in. And see... I can hear fizzing. I can hear fizzing. I can hear fizzing. I'm going to back away. I'm going to back away. As he gets closer. <laughs> oh, no, there is some, There is some, There is is definitely something happening. I think it might need some more. Ooh, Ooh. run for your lives! <laughs> oh. <laughs> some more. Room. That's exactly how popular. Ah, the smack was coming. Run! There. Okay. Look. Let's see if <laughs> I was getting really into that then. <laughs> Let's see what happens with yours. Oh, you're gonna pour it. I'm just gonna, gonna pour, pour, in. pour in. I'm just gonna pour in. <gasps> oh, instant! Oh, it's very thick and frothy too. Oh, taste it, Mike. Taste it. Taste, taste the smack. You taste it. <laughs> My smack has gone. Your smegma's gone. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't last long. Thing that's called lava, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. That is so impressive. It is good, isn't it? It is. And um, yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's... <laughs> What are you doing? I, I'm not doing anything mischievous at all. That's gonna, that's good. Oh! It's a very different kind of movie. So, um, do, do we recommend that, ch that that people head over to the interweb to buy themselves a pocket volcano, or not? I think you should just buy a little vinegar bottle and, and do it, isn't that? Because that worked for me. Okay, but if you want it authentic, go for that. Yeah, if you want yeah. it authentic, go for a tiny, go tiny, for a tiny plastic thing yeah. that, that's filled with smegma, apparently. Smegma, yeah. Okay, there we go. Cool. Well, thanks for that, Lee. That brings us to the end of this week's show. We've got just enough time to say you can find us on your social media platforms. Just search for The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And while you're there, have a look at our support section for extra content, including outtakes. We've got just enough time to bring you our fruit of the week. Drum roll, please. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye! Bye.